First, an unleashed dog attacks, leaving another dog hurt and a man facing rabies shots. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler, new at 6. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales takes us through this video you see right here and the one thing the victim wants to see happen next. It was supposed to be a normal afternoon walk for the homeowner's dogs, but the moment he stepped out, a stranger's dog ran up attacking a scary encounter all caught on this doorbell camera. Take a close look. This video, now key evidence in an investigation. <laughs> David Uliberry tries to protect his dog from a stranger's pit bull. The owner runs up and pulls the dog away from the Tampa Heights home, but the damage already done. Fast forward three days. Gizmo left with this gash. The vet said that if he'd um, been a little bit closer, he would have lost his eye. Bites and slashes. It was very scary, very. And David also bitten. Plus, got me right here and right here. Both on antibiotics. The medical bills, upwards of $200. <laughs> During the attack, David's mother confronts a stranger. Do you not have my leash? No, he was on me to let him go because he was choking himself. Okay. I'm sorry about that. No, you're not. I am. David finds out the man's phone number and address are fake. To this day, he doesn't even know his name. He could let him go again, um, and there'd be a kid there that, you know, he, he would attack. Today, Animal Control created this flyer. It says, at this time, it is not our intention to punish a dog or owner, but we must implement quarantine protocols to ensure the well-being of the bite victims. You know, if you're going to have a dog, you need to take care of it and, and, you know, let it loose like that. David says, if the dog isn't found, he could be forced to get rabies shots. Here's a close-up of this guy. If he looks familiar, contact the Hillsborough County Animal Control Services. In Tampa, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.